Three rough coffins, moldy and rank, lay exposed on the railway bank. Out of one of them fell a hank of plaited auburn hair. Startled wraiths in cloudy raiment, wondering what this newborn ray meant, questioned if the light of day meant judgment day, or what? Long we've lain in peaceful slumber, stowed away in bog and lumber, years that none of us can number by the world forgot. Thinking nothing could distrust us, waiting for the day's superbus, nor we hoped would aught perturb us in our narrow god. Then they arose, a gruesome sight, and walked the railway track by night. Mock beggar folks were wild with fright, they'll tell you they were not. Still they knew what this portended, said it meant the railway ended, till those broken beds were mended in that awesome spot. Meanwhile the ghosts in sad conclave had gathered round an open grave, and each in turn began to rave and curse the situation. A grisly fragment, once a man, arranged his bones and thus began, Dear spectral friends, I have a plan for your consideration. With rattling bones and moldy hair, for that is all of him was there, one by one he made them swear to haunt the railway station. Haunted waking, haunted sleeping, haunted till the town is creeping, mothers trembling, children weeping, such was his oration. Next a wizened creature rose, half kneeling, for he had no toes. It's quite absurd what you propose, there isn't any station. Dear me, the other said, that's true, I quite forgot, but what say you? I say that we must make them rue their ruthless excavation. Wheezing moans like snuffy snores, the analogue of live encores, attestified the ghost's applause and hearty approbation. We must haunt the right of way, promenading night and day, till our bones are laid away for one more long vacation. This he spoke, and every ghost was quickly stationed at his post. Then one cried, I give a toast to railway's condemnation. Just then the engine whistle blew, astonishing that moldy crew. But they had orders what to do to check this innovation. Hand in hand across the track, they formed to force the engine back. And sure enough, the train did slack. What is the explanation? Threatening and black in a cloud of steam, the engine reached the dividing stream and stopped. Did the driver hear a scream of ghostly imprecation? Whatever it was, he soon turned tail, mocked as he went by a ghostly wail. Not since that day does he ever fail to stop at the graveyard station. <laughs>